You're listening to the Coach Hodge and Bank Show on the Coaching Culture in Athletics Radio Broadcast Network. Sit back and enjoy the show. The views and opinions discussed in this podcast aren't necessarily the opinion of the host or Coach Hodge and Bank Show on the Coaching and Culture Athletics Network. Well, hello, hello. You know, it's uh, it, it's crazy to think about, um, you know, not podcasting in so long or, or not getting on the Springer account in so long. My, my name is Chuck Banks, and you're listening to the Reverend Chuck Banks Show on the Coaching and Culture Athletic Network. And, and we'll, we'll, we'll discuss this Reverend thing here, here in just a little bit because I think it's important to, you know, throw out all those old stories, all those old stops. But anyway... Today's episode is 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 really interesting because I had the uh, I, I had the pleasure of uh, spending the weekend <clears throat> with an old buddy, um, you know one one of my best friends in the entire planet, um, you know may, maybe my best friend next to my wife, and his name is Travis McFarland lives up in the w- Wisconsin area, you know Travis and I sat down and we talked about tons and tons and tons of things, but anyway we'll we'll, we'll get into um a, a little bit of that uh, as as this uh, podcast is titled pre thanksgiving getting older podcast and the pink flamingo and you know the pink flamingo is is, is an interesting facet all in of itself and um i'll I'll get into that here in a little bit, but I think i did i think I did put that picture of the pink flamingo as the uh <clears throat> you know, for this podcast or whatever. But you're 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 listening again uh, to Coaching Culture and Athletics uh, Radio Broadcast Network. Uh, I'm the founder of the network, Chuck Banks. Uh, I, I've coached, I've taught, I've done a lot of things. Kind of a jack of all trades, master of none. But I do love to podcast, and I do love to talk about you know different uh, things going on in the world, this, that, and the other. But I wanted to pull something a little bit different into our into our CCA Broadcast Network. Um, something that's a little bit more laid back, uh, you know, where where we could talk about all types of various uh, you know topics, this, that, and the other. And you know, what 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 better way to just uh, kind of sit back and talk about you know life, life in general. And you know, when you talk about life, you can talk about pretty much anything and you know everything. So I I will probably you know have some guests you know through throughout uh, you know this podcast journey with this particular show. But we're still going to roll with the uh, CCA, the Coaching Culture and Athletics uh, podcast that's uh, that, that's done very well. Uh, we spent a, probably a little bit more time on the Facebook uh, video side of things when it comes to that. But, uh, you know, I couldn't be prouder to be associated with so many good dudes out there uh, when, when you're talking about coaches uh, within the state of Iowa, Texas, and across the country. Uh, even the state of Oregon, Washington. I mean, the list goes on and on. And I truly appreciate uh, that, that great group. Uh, Coach Ryan Hodges, uh, you know, we're we're putting together a book, uh, you know, that that you know he he's putting a lot of insight into, and I I'm spending a lot of time over break time, uh, you know, writing these facets, and and I and I and I hope it uh, it, it it does Coach Hodges service. You know, I I have several books. I'm an author. You know, uh, and and you know what uh, what's interesting is over the last week, uh, you know, I I've been Googled quite a bit uh, by by some of my ba- basketball players and. You know, they, they, they found out, you know, hey, you know what? Coach Banks is an author. You know, uh, you know, I I don't uh, I, I don't advertise that a whole lot, you know, with, uh, you know, my students or athletes because, you know, they, they give me a hard time sometimes. And, and, and I'll discuss what that hard time issue is. But, you know, uh, I, I get called a ghostbuster a lot because of my interest in the paranormal. OK, my interest in uh, going to haunted locations, my inst- entrance uh, uh, interest in helping people, you know, that, that are in need. And I, and I am a, you know, a paranormal investigator, part of the team, uh, short bus paranormal out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, uh, have written a couple books with them. Um, and you know, it's, it, it's funny, but, but I get called ghostbuster a lot, whether it's from my colleagues, whether it's from my students because they Google me or whether it's, you know, my friends even. 
And, you know, last night, uh, you know, I shared this stuff with Travis, too, and kind of blew him away. He had no idea that I'd written uh, 14 different books. One book in the genre of uh, sports culture. It's called The Mad Culture, President of Athletics. And then one or two books among the genre of political science, which shouldn't surprise anybody with me being a government and a history teacher called uh, The Around, Around the Dinner Table Religion and Politics, The Butthurt Saga. But this is not going to be about politics. This is not going to be about religion. This is going to be about life in general, you know, Thro throwing out topics that, uh, that, that that really make sense. And, you know, as we as we enter into this Thanksgiving holiday this week, I have a lot to be thankful for. And just getting older, you know, I I experiencing those things, it, it definitely changes changes a man, changes his vision on who he is. Now, the Reverend Banks show. OK, the interesting facet is. Uh, for those that don't know, I am, uh, you know, a, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, I, I, I took some classes and, and I'm now an ordained minister, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm a perfect minister, but uh, that's really not why the show's uh, titled, uh, the, the Reverend Chuck Banks. But, you know, we'll talk about some of that stuff because I feel it's important to, you know, discuss my life and throw it out there, you know. Uh, what what what's on my mind as we grow older in society, and this uh, this broadcast probably isn't for the teenies. Probably uh, it's probably more geared towards us that are in middle aged and growing older. But you know what, the teenies might uh, laugh and carry on because uh, you know me rambling this that and the other. But it, uh, it it is safe for all genres. But it was uh, it was it was a warm sunny day. Um, I, I believe we were in Knoxville, Iowa, and Coach Miller and, and, and Coach uh, Odin and Randy Barger, you know, we're, we're coaching softball. My, my daughter's on the team, actually, you know, and, and you know, uh, Odin's daughter's on the team. And, you know, they're, they're put the scorecard out there, you know, who's coaching this, that, and the other. And <laughs> lo and behold, um, you know, they get through all the names and then they said, you know, coached by yada, yada, yada. And the Reverend Chuck Banks. And you know what? I, I even had my bus driver come up to me that day and said, I didn't know you were a reverend. And, you know, he was seeking counsel. And I mentioned to him that, you know, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a uh, preacher at this point. Uh, lo and behold, I had no idea that I would follow, you know, kind of in that path a little bit later on. But that's another story in and of itself. But Thanksgiving. Best friend, uh, you know, from childhood, Travis McFarlane shows up and and, you know, I, I, I see him, he pulls in the front. And you know we're getting old when, uh, you know, you, you have to just look at, uh, you know, or you, you have this device on your car, right, GPS, and, you know, you have it typed in. And, you know, my, my little humble abode here in Donaldson, Iowa, doesn't happen to, uh, you know, sh share you the easiest path to my address. And, you know, he gives me a call. I chuckled a little bit, no pun intended, and you know, I, he's driving around the corner. I said, hey, I'll just step outside my garage. My garage door is wide open. There he was. He uh, he pulled in. He turned around and got out of his car. And good grief, my buddy looked old. And I was like, who is that old guy with that gray beard? And, you know, and then, and then I thought to myself, you know what? I'm an old guy with a gray beard, too. I kind of joke because uh, Travis is a little bit older than me. 20 days. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're both... September babies, we was in the same class, this, that, and the other. Comes in, and then we immediately just, uh, you know, it, it, it was like we took off like like it was yesterday, like it was high school. You know, it, it was like uh, little kids. And, you know, bless bless my wife, you know, Stephanie. She she had to, and my kids had to put up with these two, uh, you know, middle-aged guys that acted like teenagers and laughed and carried on. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with that because that, that's what that's what's exciting about life in general, is to be able to sit back, uh, reminisce, and discuss those stories. And you know what? Some of those stories, folks, I would never share with the uh, general public for for a lot of reasons. But we had a good time, man. Yeah, you know there 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 was one instance, and, I, and I'll share it because I, I think it's funny. Not funny that we did it. But funny looking back, you know, and, and nobody's perfect, right? Uh, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, my mom, 
I, uh, Sally Banks, you know, 80 year old, wonderful soul. I love her so much. I uh, lives in the Centerville area. Uh, special shout out to my mom. I, I'm sure that she's one of the uh, three listeners that'll listen to this podcast. You know, we're laughing, right? <laughs> but but it, it's it, it's kind of funny because I was talking to her. I was telling her that my buddy Travis was uh, you know coming over, <laughs> you know, and and we were going to spend the day together. And she says, "Will you two be careful? You're not going to be uh, throwing apples, are you?" And you know, I just rolled my eyes and thought, "Mom, come on, that was." That was so many years ago, you know, doing the math, you know, 15 minus 47, oh my gosh, that's, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a social studies teacher, not a math teacher, and my, a lot of the math teachers may, you know, roll their eyes and laugh, this, that, and the other, but that was a long time ago. It was election year. Um, my dad was, uh, you know, running for re-election for Appanese County Sheriff, and, you know, lo and behold, uh, you know, Travis and I always hung out in the summertime, we were out in the summer, and. We thought it would be a good idea uh, to get some apples and some tomatoes and, you know, just kind of throw them and stuff. And we, uh, we, uh, you know, we, we, we hit a few places that we weren't supposed to. Um, we, we, we take off. We're going back towards this house. And there are these headlights coming down the road. And Travis looks at me. And I look at Travis. And, you know, he says, should we run? And I says, no. Nah. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a sheriff's kid. I understand that those lights, uh, you know, that's not a law enforcement officer. And lo and behold, it was. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, now, ne- needless to say, my dad was not a happy camper. Uh, neither, neither was Travis's mom. But, you know, they, they said, okay, you're grounded for two months. And uh, and I, I think Travis and I ended up hanging out with each other the, the next weekend. My, my, my parents weren't quite as strict on me for whatever reason. I was the baby of the family. I'm sure my sister Teddy and my brother John, my brother Joe, they're <laughs> they're probably saying, "Come on, man, you know." Anyway, that was as mad as I've ever seen my dad. By the way, um, you know the wrath of Gerald Banks it reached deep within your soul and and it twisted. And, you know, Tra- Travis and I talked about that incident and and many others that I won't talk about, but. Um, uh, they, you know, we, we had a lot of fun. Uh, we, we, we made some poor decisions, but you know, we made a lot of great decisions and, you know, we, we, we discuss our lives today. Travis has three wonderful kids, one in college, um, you know, and two younger. And then, you know, I was talking about my kids, you know, uh, Chelsea married to Donald Archambault, uh, grandbaby. Oh, Orion. We're going to have another grandbaby. Oh, Owen here, uh, any day now. So, so that's going to be an interesting, you know, Thanksgiving or, you know, pre-Christmas treat. Hopefully, I get to see those two, uh, or those four. It's weird saying that. Hopefully, I get to see those four um, uh, over Christmas break. We'll see what happens. They live in Washington. They're stationed up by Washington, so it's a long trip. Uh, Stephanie and I aren't going to be able to make the birth of our second grandbaby this time, but you know what? Uh, We will be there in spirit. We will get lots of pictures. And we will continue to be very proud grandparents. And then my second, Peyton. Um, you know, Travis uh, comes down. He, he's also the godparent of my kids. So, you know, they're, 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 there's a lot to, you know, my best friend here. And, you know, we, we, we told stories about Peyton. And, you know, Pey- Peyton's a great kid. Uh, working hard. He's going to finish up his associates this year. So proud of his accomplishments. Um and, you know, pr- proud of that boy. And, and you know, we, we, we had a good laugh. And Peyton came down la- last night as Travis and I were uh, battling each other in the Wii Sports, which, by the way, I can say that I won most of those games with the exception of baseball and bowling. I didn't do so hot. But, you know what, listener, if you want to challenge me, you know, challenge me at that. We'll, we'll, we'll go get it. But also my youngest, cat. Uh, you know what? What, what, what can I say about her other than she's smart, um, and you know, she's going to do so many great things in life and I couldn't be more proud of her. I couldn't be more proud of all three of my kids and their accomplishments and my wife, you know, Stephanie, I love her too, but that's, uh, you know, enough of me rambling there, but Travis and I, uh, we, 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 uh, went, went to Walmart with the whole crew. And, you know, I'm, I'm not paying much attention. I'm getting some stuff, you know, this, that, and the other. And, you know, in, in my basket, I noticed this pink flamingo. And I look at him, and I'm like, what the heck, man? Why, why are you putting this in my, in my cart? 
And he just laughed and laughed, you know, and chuckled in that deep chuckle. And 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 he and, and I said, okay, we'll we'll leave it in the cart and we'll see if Stephanie sees it. She saw it. We were putting that stuff out there, and then Travis tried to put a couple more things in the in the in the basket. I'm like, what are you doing, man? I, I, I said, I can't take you anywhere, you know. It's, yeah, but 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 it's kind of fun because you know we we used to do that, you know, that sort of stuff. And and this morning. I, I, I come down, uh, he, he left this morning to go see his mom, and uh, th- there's this creepy doll behind my uh, behind my computer screen as I'm getting ready to come down here and podcast the very first episode of, you know, the, the Rev Chuck Banks, uh, and the pre-Thanksgiving Getting Older podcast and the Fling Mingo, and I see this creepy doll peering behind my computer screen. Thanks, Travis. I appreciate that. Uh, you you just wait till the next time, you know, in, in 20 more years when you come over and spend a weekend. I might do the same thing. But that but that's kind of funny. Isn't that isn't that what life's all about, though, is to have fun with it, roll with it, to remember the good times, you know, to 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 really, you know, to think back and think deep and <clears throat> and it's 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 just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun to remiss. It's a lot of fun to relive all those old moments, but I will tell you that I'm happy where I'm at, uh, you know, at this point in my life. Um, <laughs> I still, I still laugh, you know, when it, when it, when it, when I think about those things. But you know, a little bit about me. Uh, I, I am a teacher. I, I am a coach. Uh, I, I've coached almost every sport there is, with the exception of swimming, this, that, and the other. Um, I'm also an author of many books. Many genres, uh, you know, the paranormal, uh, you know, religion, politics, uh, sporting, culture, pretty much anything you could imagine. I, you know, I, I've written it. And, you know, I, it, it was funny because, you know, we, we, we talked about, you know, Travis says, well, you know, he, he says, as long as you enjoy it, keep doing what you're doing. And I think too often uh, we, we, we spend too much time, uh, you know, Worrying about things, worrying about who we are, or what we stand for, or you know this, that, and the other. And I think I I, I, th- I think that's what's wrong with culture and our society is that you know we, we we don't embrace who we who we are most of the time. And you know what? I I'm done with that. I'm, I'm you know what? I'm I'm going to start embracing who I am and you know uh, a little bit more. And one one thing that I truly believe in and. Not a lot of people know this, but I but I do have a deep faith in Jesus Christ. Um, you know, obviously, you know, becoming uh, newly ordained, this, that, and the other. But I I love I love talking about um, discernment, uh, discerning you know things that uh, no longer serve you, this, that, and the other. And uh, you know, it's it's one of those things. So I, I I will be sharing, believe it or not, on my the Rev Chuck Bank show. You know, a, a definitely a section, you know, regarding that. And you know what? I'm going to look at uh, this this uh, this scripture, and 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 I hope it uh, I, I I hope it hits hits the heart of those out there that need it. Committed to redeem is is, is kind of what this is called. I will gather the remnant of my flock, and they shall be fruitful and increase. I will also set up shepherds over them, and I will feed them, and they will fear no more, nor be dismayed. Jeremiah 23, 3 through 4. And you know what? That's that's truly kind of where I'm headed. You know what? I I, I, I want to create a flock. I want to create, uh, you know, a something that's going to change the world uh, to make it a better place and, and to change society one soul at a time. And I think that's what, that's why I created CCA, Coaching Culture and Athletics, or anything that I create or anything that I write. It's to share experiences to, to make the world better. And again, that's you, you have to start with understanding that you have to be who you are. Be who you were born to be. And, uh, and, and don't be ashamed of yourself. And you know what? If you ever need help, reach out. That's the way it is. But anyway, be thankful. Be thankful this, uh, th- this week. Uh, be thankful... Every week of the year, but definitely take the time out to also put uh, put the folks out there uh, in your prayers and in your hearts that uh, can't be with their family over Thanksgiving or the holidays or those that are in need. 
because there are a great plethora of those individuals in our society today, which is a sad thing. And also pray for all those uh, those kids, uh, all those uh, adults that have lost loved ones that are going to, you know, perhaps even experience this holiday for the first time without their loved one. You know, send out prayers to them and, you know, lots of love and be courteous. Be courteous to folks and treat others as you would want to be treated. That's uh, that. That's pretty much it. That's uh, episode one of uh, the Rev Chuck Bank Show. Most of the time, my, my podcast will probably run a little bit longer than, uh, than this. This is around 20 minutes or so. But I, but I wanted to do my promo of this particular uh, you know, podcast. And you know what? If you want to be a guest, if you want to come on and you know, just discuss things in general, you know, about getting older, you know, reach out to me. Uh, email me. Coaching culture and athletics at gmail.com. Uh, my name is Chuck Banks, and this is an affiliate of the Coaching in Culture. Uh, uh, coaching, uh, co- oh, man, I, I can't even spit it out. Coaching culture and athletics uh, podcast radio network. We'll talk to you all soon. Have a great week and a wonderful holidays. God bless.